The FFA convention downtown brings in about 70,000 students with interest in farming and agriculture, and that includes a group from Irwin, Tennessee. Remnants of Hurricane Helene ravaged that community. WRTV's Jessica Grudling shows us what those students went through just to get to Indy. A walk through the Indiana Convention Center. So I'm always very excited to come to National Convention. This is the FFA chapter from Irwin, Tennessee. Many of them have been here before. This year it's a little bit different. Usually we come and we're kind of, you know, anonymous. That's not the case this year because this group has been through quite a bit over the last month. Rapid destruction that was happening, it happened so quickly yeah. and it was something so unexpected for a lot of the people. This is not anything we've ever seen before. My parents, my grandparents haven't even seen anything like this before. My, like, high school friends have lost parents. You know, there's funerals going on, services. Their small town of Irwin endured the impacts of Hurricane Helene. The storm dumped record levels of rain on eastern Tennessee. It flooded the Nolichucky River that runs through the town of 6,000 people, washing out roads, homes, and businesses. It's kind of hard to explain, but it's, you know, you look outside and it's like, wow, that'll never change. Farming is the backbone of our community and um, unfortunately there was quite a few farms that were destro um, destroyed by the flood. A month later the rebuilding process is ongoing and will be for a while but that's where these FFA members stepped in starting by helping out the farmers in their community. They do provide a lot for us so we wanted to try to give back to them and help them through this time of need. It's been a way to you know kind of cope with what's going on, being out there and helping. One word I would give to some of our community right now is unified. Stepping outside of their town and coming to Indy was important to them to get back into a routine and show they can move forward. Yeah, sense of normalcy is a great way to put it. In Indianapolis, Jessica Grundling, WRTV. A few weeks ago, the students weren't sure if they'd even make it here. The National FFA and Tennessee FFA Foundation helped to pay for their trip. The FFA convention runs now through Saturday in downtown Indy at the convention center, Lucas Oil Stadium, Gamebridge Fieldhouse, and also the state fairgrounds.